Tacoma perfection is so close, but Toyota will never build it. And here's why. Good morning, everybody. How are you today? And that's right, Toyota Tacoma perfection is so close, but Toyota's never gonna build it. You know, first of all, what do I mean by Tacoma perfection, right? I mean, nothing's perfect, is it? Well, it's as about as close as you can get right now, and it should be. I mean, this current third generation Tacoma's been around for quite a while, so Toyota ought to be getting pretty close, and they are. So what is perfection? Well, styling. I've mentioned it's the best looking truck on the road many times, and it is. Comfort, it's close enough that I'd call it as close as to perfection as you probably could get in the Tacoma. Uh, modability, eh, I don't think there's any uh, any other truck out there, maybe the Gladiator, you know, that's as moddable as the Toyota Tacoma is. But we're talking about perfection from the factory, right? So there wouldn't be any modding necessary. So what does Toyota Tacoma, or Toyota rather, need to do? Well, I think they need to offer a lifted truck from the factory. You know, it doesn't have to be anything huge. I mean, Jeep does it with the Gladiator, right? Maybe two and a half inches, two inches, that would be fine. Now, some of you I know are gonna say, well, the Pro does come lifted. Well, that's true, but I think it should be that way across the line. It should just be standard. It should come or at least have the option for bigger tires. You know, a 285-70 R17 on the Tacoma is perfect, in my opinion. And I think they should come with an option, at least, that they're standard that way, right? That would be perfect for the Toyota Tacoma. Uh, other than that, uh, maybe a, a blacked-out chrome package. You know, that would be cool, too. You know, get rid of the chrome. Let's have the night edition all the time across the board. They do have the special edition out now, but I believe it's a limited time run. I think it should be permanent. So what is holding it back? I say it's close to perfection because it is close. And what's holding it back, of course, is power. It needs another or tune. You know, I may go too far when I continuously mention power, right? Maybe the power that it has just needs to be handled differently. More like the Jeep Gladiator, for example. If they were to realign or retune the Toyota Tacoma so that the power was managed in a, in a way that pro would provide more acceleration, more torque, I think they would be there with it, right? I don't think we're that far away. I think they're about as close as to perfection as they can get, but they're never going to build it. Well, why won't they build it? I mean, wouldn't you think that if a manufacturer could build a perfect truck, they would seize the market? Nobody would buy anything else, right? Well, that's kind of part of the problem. I mean, if you built the perfect truck, sooner or later, your sales would start to decline because everybody would be buying that truck. You'd have a boon in sales, you know, at the onset. But if it was perfect, people wouldn't need to switch it out for the next gen, right? How can you improve on perfection? That's one problem. Secondly, cost. You know, we all want the most that we can get basically for nothing, right? I mean, if somebody came up to you and handed you the keys to a Tacoma for free, would you walk away? Probably not. And that's what we all want. We want to pay as little as we can for the most that we can get. And there's nothing wrong with that. Heck, who wouldn't want to do that? That's what we should all be doing, right? Save your pennies. But that's, that's why Toyota is not going to do it, because they can't do it um, cost effectively. You know, if you put everything into the Tacoma, as I mentioned, you'd be probably pushing, a, I would guess, a 60, maybe even $70,000 mid-sized truck. Now, Jeep does it with the Gladiator, right? I mean, and people buy it. They have the higher-end Gladiators out there that are pushing probably 60 grand, something like that if you get everything that you can get, and people do buy them. So is it really that far-fetched to think that Toyota wouldn't be able to sell a truck like that? Eh, maybe not, but Toyota's not really known for that, right? You know, I think Jeep and 
immediate Chrysler. Um, are kind of known for stepping out on the edge and throwing all these things into their vehicles in general. Of course, you're going to pay for them. And people do. But they don't do it in mass scale. And Toyota being the number one selling mid-sized truck certainly doesn't want to come out with something that's so hugely overpriced for their market that they're going to lose sales. And secondly, or thirdly, I guess I should say, there'd be no reason to come out with next generations, right? I mean, you have to keep the animal, you have to keep the machine, rather, rolling. And if you create the perfect truck, you're not going to have anything to offer in the next generation. You know, a lot of people talk about um, planned obsolescence, right? And you like to think that manufacturers don't do that, but, you know, they certainly do. I mean, that's how they stay in business, right? If what they're putting out didn't become obsolete, well, then they wouldn't be able to sell the next version. And Toyota is no different than any other, right? I mean, they do focus on reliability and quality, but ultimately they want you to buy the next iteration of their product, right? If it didn't become obsolete, if you didn't want for the next one, they'd start to take a, a turn. They'd start to lose sales. So there has to be a little bit of planned obsolescence in there, whether it's intentional or not. I mean, at the rate that technology seems to increase, I think it happens without any planning. There's always going to be the latest and greatest gadget or thing right around the corner, right? You know, I made a video the other day about the Tundra and what I think they need to do uh, based on the F-150 and what Ford has done. And there's a lot of innovative things in that truck. You know, a nice new screen, this huge radio, the center console lid that flips over so you have a work surface. You know, people want those things. And obviously, we don't have that in the Tacoma right now. Doesn't mean it won't happen in the next generation, but we have to be able to, but Toyota has to be able to build that next generation, something that people would want. Not the perfect truck that nobody's ever gonna wanna change. Anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Is Toyota this close to the perfect Tacoma? Does it really just come down to a few mods that they could easily include? It's gonna cost you, but they could do it. And increase the power or at least the tune in the truck to make it a little bit more responsive, a little bit more fun to drive? I'd be curious to know what you think. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.